Human beings are incapable, weak, fragile, limited in time, space, knowledge, ability, and strength. Simply because the Bible reveals to us that man is nothing, have nothing, and can do nothing. Maybe before this pandemic, you have a lot of things to boast with. It's what you have, what you are, and what you can do. But where is now? This virus really exposes the real condition of man before God. Man is not the one who is in control over all things, but God is the one who is in control. God is the one who controls all things. God is behind every scene, and God is behind everything. In Daniel 4.35, the king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, says that man is nothing. Yet the one who controls all things is God who is in the heavens. If man is nothing, then who can be our everything? If man is not capable to do, then who is the one who is capable? But the Bible reveals to us that God is everything. God is our everything, and God is the one who is capable to do, even capable to make the impassable to passable. In Luke one thirty seven, it says that with God, nothing is impassable. Do you believe what all the Bible says? If you do, why not trust God? Why not hope in God? Why not seek God? And why not love God? In Haggai chapter 1 verses 5 to 6, God told us, Consider your ways. You have sown much, but you bring in little. You eat, but there is no satisfaction. You drink, but there is no being filled. You dress yourself, but there is no comfort in doing so. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put them into a bag with holes. Therefore, consider your ways. Do not waste the time that God has given for you. Now, what are the things that you are relying on amidst of this pandemic? Are you still hoping in many things that is not eternal? In John 6.27, the Lord Jesus said, Work not for the food that perishes, but for the food which abides into eternal life. What are you working for? Is that what you are relying on and seeking for instead of relying on God and seeking God? In Psalm 90.12, we need to know how to number our days because time is short. Are you still hoping in many things of this world? Are you still seeking pleasures, happiness, and enjoyment of this world? It's been a long time that you have been seeking, searching for the things that would not satisfy you. Only God can satisfy us. God is a real satisfaction. God is our happiness. God is our pleasure. And God is our enjoyment. Right now, find your hope in God. Do not try to hope in many things. In Lamentation 3.22, we can hope in God because God is our hope. There is no more hope in this world. In Matthew 24.35, this world will pass away, but the word of God will never pass away. In this world, everything changes. People come and people go. Therefore, in 1 John 2.17, this world and its last is passing away, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Now, if everything is a matter of a choice, therefore, choose God. Choose to do God's will, and you will find real hope in God. Amen.